the question is as follows in a lloyd's mirror d is 1 meter the fringe width is 0.25 millimeter now it says that the when the source was moved away from the mirror by 0.6 so what it says is you have a mirror here this was the source right the source was moved away from the mirror by 0.6 so this distance let's say was a now the source was moved by a distance of 0.6 millimeter okay the fringe width became two third of the original fringe width so it is it says that when the source was moved away from the mirror by 0.6 the fringe width became two third of the original fringe width so fringe width now new is two third of original okay so the question is that given these information what is the wavelength of the light which we used in this experiment so this question is again a very simple question if you know what are the equations for lloyd's mirror you will be able to proceed with the solution if you don't know then i'll suggest that you first go through that lecture and then you come back to this question try this question if you are not able to solve then proceed use how a look at the solution so you know that the fringe width is given by lambda d by d right what is d in case of a lloyd's mirror it's 2 into a so lambda d by what is the new distance a point point 0.6 this is into 2 this is it says is Two third of the original distance. From this, if you solve this, you'll get a as one point two millimeter. Now you put this value of a in this equation. The fringe width was given as two point point two five. This is equal to lambda d by d. This is equal to lambda into distance is one meter, that is thousand millimeter, and small d is one point two millimeter. So, uh, so this is equal to 2a right so 2.4 millimeters from this if you solve you will get your lambda as 600 nanometer so this is the solution okay. now we take another question so the qu next question is again we'll move back to our original ydac setup so the question is about the ydac setup the question is as follows the question is In a YDSC setup, D is equal to hundred meter, hundred centimeter. Now, for a certain D, where D, this small D is the distance between the slits, the fringe width is found to be point two millimeter. When D is changed by One millimeter, the fringe width becomes W nu becomes 0.3 millimeter. Now, in this changed position, that is when the D is changed by one millimeter, a plate of mu 1.5 in change position, a plate. of mu 1.5 is kept in front of one of the slits and because of this introduction of the plate the pattern shifts by 20 fringes
So the question is find the plate thickness T. Okay, so this is my question. So clearly in this question, initially we have a setup like this. This was D initial and the fringe width you know is given by lambda D by T. Now when D is changed by 1 millimeter, so this was my initial D, the final D has been changed and it has been changed by 1 millimeter. So my first question is, is the change such that D F is greater than D I or is the change such that D F is less than D I, I need to figure out that. You see here that W nu, that is width, width of the new width of the fringe is more than the initial width of the fringe. That means what? The final df is less than di. Because this appears in the denominator. df is less than di, that means w nu is greater than di, w i. Okay, so this is less than di, that means df is equal to di minus 1. Right? Now, you see the other things remaining constant, width of the fringe is proportional to 1 by d. So, I can write w nu by w old is equal to d old by d nu. So, this is 0.3 by 0.2, d old is let us say d old only and d nu is d old minus 1. If you solve this, you will get your d old as 3 millimeter. So, the initial distance between the fringe uh, between the slits was 3 millimeter. Now, let us find what is the wavelength of the light used. In this question, it is given that 0.2 millimeter is equal to lambda d by d old. I know d old, I know the distance between the screen and the slit. So, if I put the values this d as 1000 millimeter, this distance as 3 millimeter, this is given as 0.2 millimeter all distances are in, are, are in millimeter. So, I will get my lambda x as 600 into 10th of the power 6 millimeter or 600 nanometer. Okay. So, I have figured out what is the lambda, what is the old distance between the slits. Now, let us move on to the question. It says that the fringe, pa the pattern shifts by 20 fringes. You know that the first maxima when you introduce a glass slit shifts by mu minus 1 t d by this distance. Now, if I this divide this distance divided by the fringe width, I will get the number of fringes. So, I will divide by the fringe width which is lambda d by d. So, mu minus 1 t by lambda this is equal to the number of fringes that is 20 in this case. From this, if you solve this, you will easily get that the thickness of the glass slab which was used is 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter. Okay, So, this is my thickness of the glass slab which has been introduced. 